insights from Mark chapter 7. One of the things Jesus talked about, he's, uh, he was addressing how people um, think that things from the outside can defile them. And for example, they thought that different foods you couldn't eat and that would defile you. And Jesus said, can't you see that the food you put in your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes through the stomach and then is expelled. And then he said, it's from what's inside that defiles you. From, from within, out of a person's heart, comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, thief, uh, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, pride, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within, and they are, from, they are what defile you. And so Jesus is saying, what defiles you is not necessarily what you eat. It's what is the state of your heart. You see, that's why Proverbs 4 says, guard your heart with all diligence. Guard it with everything you have. Guard it with all intentionality, seriousness, devotion. Be serious about guarding your heart. What is you are allowing in? What you're letting your eyes see? What you're taking in? Uh, what you're what you're listening to? Because that can di distort your heart. It says, guard your heart with all diligence, because out of it flows the springs of life. Life, the spring of life, the 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 intentions, the, the motives, the, the decisions you make all are based on the heart, right? The heart is really so important to God. You know, Jesus, uh, God said through the prophet Samuel, when, when there was all the different um, sons of Jesse who were being chosen as the anointing and, he, and D David was chosen, uh, Samuel said, for man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. There's another verse in um the Old Testament, it says, For the eyes of the Lord search to and fro throughout the whole earth, looking for a heart that is fully surrendered, submitted, that is fully committed to God, that he may strengthen them. The eyes of the Lord, God is looking to and fro. He's saying, is there a man, is there a woman, is there a child of God who's willing to give me their whole heart? Because God says, that's the person I'm going to bless. That's the person I'm going to walk with. Like Enoch walked with God. You can walk with God if you guard your heart. Also, the Pharisees were condemned for being hypocrites. They preached one thing, but they practiced another thing. I want to encourage you. Maybe you are in hypocrisy. You're acting like a Christian. You're saying the Christian words, yet you're still living in sin. What I want to encourage you to do is be honest before God. Don't try to fool man, but fear God. Live to please God, not man. And if you're living in hypocrisy, I know because I used to live that way. Repent and get it right with God.